In your Fox 5 Health News, a warning from the FDA about a medical device used in hospitals. The agency says a computerized pump that dispenses medication is at risk for being hacked and should now not be used. Well, that's pretty frightening. Joining us now is Dr. Devi Nampia Parampo. Good to Hi, see nice you. Nice to see you. Um, tell us about your thoughts about this. Yeah, so this is this is actually a huge development because if you think about the hospital, anytime you get IV fluids, anytime you get a blood transfusion or anything else, you know, it's going through these types of pumps. So you basically have that item, the antibiotic or medication hooked up to it, and then the other side of the pump goes to an IV, which goes into you. So we program it in the hospital through the health, you know, the health network system and stuff. So some Somebody hacks into it and changes the dosing on those Ooh. things. I mean, that could be a fatal medical error. And then on top of that, I mean, most likely hackers are not going to try to change your doses. What they're probably trying to get is your name, social security number, your date of birth, those types of things. It's still so scary. Also, this yeah. is the first time the FDA has issued a warning like this. The new pumps, they don't have this problem? They don't. And actually, this type of pump is not sold anymore. But the thing is, for hospitals, nursing homes, and places that have bought them in the past, they may still be using them, right? Because if you buy medical Right. equipment you plan to use it for some time I mean luckily there aren't any cases so far of them being hacked but it is something that we have to worry about oh yes in this world that we live in thank you so much <laughs> okay so let's talk about this because it got a lot of media attention Jessica Alba's all-natural sunscreen is feeling the heat these days the company co-founded by the actress is being blamed by some customers who have been posting negative online reviews we had some pictures of people who were just getting burned. I mean, literally sunburned burned children by too. it. Awful. Kids, yeah. Those pictures are kind of alarming. Yeah, yeah, they are. But it's hard to tell, you know, when you see things online, it's always hard to tell what percentage that is, you know, or how representative it is, and if it's definitely from the sunscreen. But it seems that at least the pattern uh, seems to go along with when the company reformulated the product, right? So what they did, they were getting a lot of complaints about the greasiness of it, and what that was related to is probably the zinc. So this is the stuff that makes sunscreen white, especially with those natural products, like if you've seen lifeguards with that kind of right. white under their sure, eyes. Sure. So when they decreased that amount, they These still are the burn pictures, by the oh, way, excuse sure. me. Go ahead. Yeah, so they kept it at the level that would be safe, according to the FDA, but at the same time, it's a lot less. That white, greasy nature is not there as much, so that might be why some people are more susceptible to the burns. It's so hard to choose between sunscreens because you choose one that is white and, you know, a physical sunscreen, and you can't spread it, you know. Sure. I, I used this one. It was translucent and oddly really easy to spread, so this, this well, is really surprising. Well, you brought up a good point, too, because with the tube, people are actually supposed to shake it. So the, the zinc, otherwise, it's kind of like soup. You know, mm. if you have chicken noodle soup or something, all of the heavier stuff, like the chicken and the noodle, goes to the bottom and the oil is on the top. So same thing with sunscreen, you know, the clear part, the part that might not have that white color or might not have the zinc, will probably be at the top of the tube. So if people just take that without shaking, it might not work as well. Yeah. So, I mean, so compared natural sunscreens to the ones to that others? are chemical, I mean, is there really, are you better off going natural uh, or are you better off just doing the chemical? Well, it depends what you're trying to do. So right. if you want a natural product, then of course, you know, if you want to go with a natural sunscreen, that should be good. I mean, they're still following the FDA's regulations. So in and theory, can be effective? Yeah, so in theory, because they're following that, it should be effective. Now, we have to see, they said an independent lab verified that they were following all the FDA's regulations, met the standards. You know, maybe it's worth looking at those records again just to make sure there were no errors made. But you also have to look at the people who are reporting uh, these issues. Did they put it on properly? Right. Did they reapply every 80 minutes? Did they put on enough? You know, did they get enough of the zinc? That's a good Turn point. Yeah. It's so hard to decide between the two because a chemical sunscreen works so well, yeah. but then it has carcinogens. Yeah. Well, you know, some of them do well, at least. So there's, you know, there are rumors about that, but we don't know for sure because the FDA actually holds them to a high standard mm -hmm. too. So in theory, whichever one you go with, you should be okay <laughs> as right. long as it's right. better to have sunscreen than not. <laughs> okay. Well, well, to be fair, we should let you know that we did contact the Honest Company. That's the company Jessica Alba uh, co-founded, and this is what they told us: "Quote: Our sunscreen lotion was tested by an independent." third party against the protocols prescribed by the FDA. We stand behind the safety and efficacy of the product. So that's what they're saying. Interesting. You know, like you said, you have to be very careful about how often you're putting it on, how soon sure. you go into the they water. Were using it properly. All exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, doctor, we really appreciate you coming oh, in today. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we definitely need, need a lot of sunscreen, sunscreen today. today.